This is how you are going to input trading parameters including the stop loss, the take profit and then entry in a trade. So what I normally trade is I trade gold which is XAUUSD. So checking on this list, it's not here. So when, when you're able to sign in into the MT5, you see quotes. You see quotes here. Now you see um, chart to there. You see trade, you see history, and then you see some messages also there. So now what you are going to do is, because we don't have XAUUSD here, right? You are going to click this place. This add plus sign to add it so now i click on this plus sign and i type in the symbol the type in here right you type in x a u u s d so that's what i've shown here and then you click on add now it will show now after clicking on add you click this right so you see it's, it's now showing here right because i only trade xa usd so i normally take away all the other ones because they are just nice for me so if i want to take them out i click here right now because i want to take the rest out right what i'll be doing is i'll click on this delete sign right now click and then i take the ones that i want to take out so i just take all of them and then delete all of them now i have xa usd and then euro usd the reason why i wasn't able to take the euro usd is because it has been opened in the chat so if i go back and i see the chat you see you see it here so now what you are going to do is you have to just click on the xa usd and then click on chat so now to open the XAUSD chart for you, right? Now you can go back to quotes and then click the pencil sign again and then delete the euro USD if in case you don't need it. Now it's gone. So now I only have XAUSD here in my chart, right? So let's say you woke up and then you entered into the signal room and then you saw a trade like buy good at so so and so or sell good at so so and so what i want you to check first is the price i've asked to either buy or sell so if i've told you i've told you guys to um let's say buy good at 3229 and then you came in and then gold is around 3232 it is far away from entry so it is really not advisable for you to enter that trade what if I said um, sell gold at 3229 and then you came in and then it's around 3232. As far as you've not seen stop loss hit, it is still advisable for you to enter the trade. Maintain the same stop losses that I will be telling you guys to maintain. Right? I normally maintain 30 pips stop loss, maximum of 40 pips because of spread differences. Because we are using different brokers, everyone will have different kind of spreads. So I would say that maximum stop loss should be around this, which is like 10 pips away from the stop loss, right? So now, if in case, looking at this, I'm seeing some sell signals and then I'll be like, so good. You have two things. It's either you can use the quick one here, sell at your left hand side and buy at your right hand side at the top here, right? So when you click here, right? When you click here, you see sell and buy. So if sell, then you click on the sell. You click on the sell, right? So sell. Your first time you will see it, you just have to click the accept terms and then click OK and then click on the sell again. Okay. Sometimes it will come for you to accept. So you just click accept and then the trade will be placed. Now you have two ways to modify your stop loss. It's either you are going to modify it here by clicking the sell and then clicking on this excel SL here and then trailing to that particular side i normally use 30 pay stop loss so let's say my stop loss will be around 3226 maximum of 3227 right okay now price is at 3223.9 so approximately 
three two two four. So I'll be around um, three two two eight maximum, right? Now you can move on to also click on TP down here, and then click on TP. Now you pull you put in i normally give break even i give tp1 tp2 and the like so let's say you want to go to tp1 which is and um, 50 pips so this will be around two three a three two one nine so let me show to three two one nine right and then you click on this arrow sign when you are done right and then you click on it then you click modify you click modify so click on it so when it comes to trade here once you see it in blue then it means that you are in profit but once you see red it means you are running in a loss so um, if you are using a $50 account or less I would advise you use 0 0.01 as here entered here but if you have less a hundred dollars account you can be using 0 0.02 by modifying this to 0 0.02 and then clicking on sell so if you have a hundred dollars account you can be using 0 0.05 that's how i normally talk about risk management so you can do that and remember anytime you add an additional position you make sure you modify that particular one too so let's say instead of modifying it on the screen like this you want to modify it at the other side so you come to trade then you, um, you slide you slide um let's say this one right this second one just slide to your left and then click on the pencil sign you see because i'm in a loss you are seeing red right huh so you click on this pencil sign then here you input the stop loss price let's say approximately three two two eight then tp is three two one nine then click modify then it will do it for you so now when trade automatically goes to three two two nine market will close all your trades for you in a loss so you can see it has automatically closed everything in a loss of what eleven dollars here and when it goes in tp as well market will automatically close your trade for you in a profit that's how it works here so you just have to be following everything like that again and then you you can be practicing each um, like over and over and over and over I'm sure by one or two trades everything will be fine so you can modify your trades in two ways right either modifying it on the screen as i've showed you or you can also go and then use that pencil sign and modify it there all right so thank you very much and then make sure you also be protecting your trees when you are running in profit all right see you some other time bye